welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack Kraken addiction. We have a box of Modern Horizons. Just gonna cut this. Yeah, yeah, right. right under the eye. Okay. Well, if you're looking to support us because you like us and you think that this is fun and you want it to keep going, please make sure you become a subscriber. Hit the thumbs up, it lets us know you like what you see. And if you like to get notifications when the new stuff comes out, make sure you hit that notification bell. It gets you a little update whenever we may or whenever we post a new video. The other ways to support us are in the description below. The first one is Patreon. Click our Patreon link to learn more. The last one is TCG Player Affiliate. If you are buying cards, building a deck, please think about hitting our affiliate link first. Without further ado, ooh, Matron, Talisman, and we start off with the Mythic, the Sword of Truth and Justice. Let's see, we'll do Mythics under the chin here, right under the blood gas chin. Shatter Assumptions, and of course we get our snow covered in every single pack. Hoping to get a Force of Negation. Could use one more for a modern deck. I'm finally going to try to dive into modern with my own version of a deck that I think is kind of getting popular now. Giver of Ruins. Very good card. And, oops, that's right, rares over there. Another mountain. I'll reveal more. I need to build the deck, the modern deck, and test it. If it plays well, I'll share it with the world. If it doesn't, I'm going to hide neck like I never did anything. Force of Rage is our next rare. Not the force we're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. As always, we start on the left side and then move over to the right side because we know the right has the most powerful cards in it every time. Remember that when you're shopping. And buying single packs. Oop, lesser Masticore is good. And Hogak. A risen Necropolis. And then back to the Necropolis. And we've got a Forest. I still wish they would have done something fun with the Horizons box like they've done with some of the other sets where every, you know, there's those god boxes out there where there's a box of all foil lands or something like that. It would have been a lot of fun. Where every pack has a mythic. All that good stuff. Force of Virtue, another force. Not the one we need. Hopefully we can just get all five forces. And Ransack the Lab. Foil. And another mountain. I wonder what was the deal with this one where we had some with the rare up front and some in the back. Because it wasn't done through a Japanese print run like some of the other ones have in the past, like Battle Bond. Ooh! <laughs> Prismatic Vista. Meatball. The first land we get that's in the land cycle here, and it's the best one. Prismatic Vista. And a Shrimp. Gotta watch out for those Astrolabs, too. I have a bunch of them somewhere around here. I just don't want to dig for them, and I'm hoping I can just snag four in this box. Another talisman. And Morophon, the Boundless. Another mythic, and it's a fun one. Hopefully you watched my deck tech for this one. If you haven't, please make sure you check that out. It's Morophon Gods. And a foil force of despair. It's the third force, not the one we need, and it's our foil rare. Man, does it look beautiful, though. That Seb McKinnon art is on point, as always. It's okay, we can still get a foil mythic, foil of a red and six. Maybe a foil Urza. Genesis for our next rare. And a planes. Come on, force of negation. See, I'm not even being greedy. I'm not asking for the most expensive card. Just a force of negation. Unless that's the most expensive card at this point, then yes, I am being very greedy. 
Force of Vigor. All right, we've got one of each force now. We just need the blue one. We're only missing the blue force. Help us, Box. Help us get the blue force. Spell Snuff. Winds of Abandon. Another really good commander card. Any of those overload cards just tend to be very playable. Some obviously far stronger than others, but even the even the common ones are pretty good and in the right deck can be super impactful. Nope, oh, there's an astrolabe. Lobby, lobby. And the Ranger, Captain of Eos. I haven't seen this one for a while. Ranger Captain is our third mythic. Man, we're getting mythics early. Hopefully we have a big mythic box. It'd be nice to have a six or seven mythic Modern Horizons box. It's been a while. I feel like I'm always sitting around that four, maybe five range. The Scrapyard Recombinator. That's all that needs to be said about that. The Modular Mechanic trying to come back. There was a day... That was the deck I liked to play in Modern, and that, when that died, that was the last time I really played Modern, I think. Talisman of Creativity, and the Altar of Dementia. Nice card to toss into Modern. It was being played for a little bit with Hogak, like the whole Bridge Vine, Dredge Vine, whatever you want to call it, but uh, I don't think they really played that anymore. If anything, it's dropped to a tier 2 deck because a lot of its power was taken away. Oop, I almost went right past the right. Ayula's Influence. You go right past it because it doesn't feel like a good rare. And a Saddled Rhyme Stag. This is actually a pretty solid card. I feel like that could find its place in like a zoo deck or something like that, the Rhyme Stag. Two mana, two, two. Every time another creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus two, plus two. Feels like that could be really good. Actually, we'll put that aside. And then we got an El Eladomri's Call. And a beautiful foil spore frog. God, I love that artwork. It looks so good. Put that aside, too. That, that belongs in a binder. Well, getting down there on the left side, I'm going to have to jump over to the other 18. Still no Force of Negation. Need that Force of Negation. Another Talisman and the Nether Spirit. Hiding under the floorboards going like this. I... I'm done. I'm done. Come on, magic gods. Give us what we ask for. A good fortune unicorn and a silent clearing. One of the horizon lands. Or canopy lands, I guess some people call it. I still think horizon lands make more sense. It's from modern horizons and it's doesn't have canopy in the name just because one land ever made had canopy in the name. No, I don't know. Guess it had horizon too. Aria of Flame. Got a nice foil in this pack too. What's it gonna be? Ooh, the Ravenous Giant. Modeled after the was it Ravenous Demon or was it something else? Grinning Demon, that's right. Alright, last pack on the left, and we can go to the better side of the box. Pack is not open. Anymore. There we go. Fists of flame. And collected conjuring for our last rare on the left. And a planes. All right, now on to the good side. Oops. Let's grab two packs. We need more astrolabes. Lobs. We need a. Uh, need to get that force of negation. Another master core, though. That's good. And the unsettled mariner. 
and a foil Elvish Fury. Some Randy Vargas art. The set, just opening this again, reminds me that we have a very good set coming, Commander Legends soon. And it's got me excited to collect her. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully that thing is as good as this. At this point, we know we know for a fact that fetches outside of the secret layer are going to be printed again in 2020 in a set. I guess a set that was supposed to release in 2020. The COVID obviously might change some of those dates, but we know another set's going to get them. And we know it's not going to be a standard set. So the only set I can think of is Commander Legends, which would be Ultimate, Bizarre Trade Mage. If it's not Commander Legends, I could see it being reprinted in like the Commander Legend pre-cons maybe they have fetches, but I don't know, I, that's only two of them. Unless there's some, unless there's some other Modern Horizons-esque product coming out, I feel like that's the place to put them. It'd be a bit surprising if it were somewhere else. Crashing Footfalls. Come on, right side. Don't do us wrong. Chiller pillar. Ooh, plane bound accomplice. And the planes. I'm getting down there, man. We need to find we need to find our goods. Somebody somebody invoke some some powerhouse. Let this be the pack. Let it be a pack of good and glory. Carrion feeder and a nurturing peatland, or as Pat would call it, a pog beatland. I don't know why he called it that. I think his brain just like malfunctioned for a second. Not sure, but it's another land and we do love lands. Even if they're relatively affordable right now, I don't think they'll stay that way forever. But, and again, this set was print printed a lot higher than I think was probably initially expected. Oop, another Astrolab. There we go. And the Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Another really good land that currently isn't too expensive. Very powerful. I guess we'll put it in the land cycle. Why not? It's a good one. So we've got two of the four Astrolabs, and we need one Force of Negation. The rest of this box, don't care. Don't care about it at all. Just need those. The Goblin Engineer. Get that little underbite, overbite, underbite. Ugh. He's got blue eyes, though. Weird. Come on. Negation. I'll take a foil one. That's fine. Just give me a foil one. Shifter. And... Ooh, Yogma Thran Physician. Another solid mythic, one that will probably long-term be worth quite a bit. It is really powerful. That puts us at four mythics. Can we get that six mythic box? And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, get seven packs left counting this one, I think. Seven or eight. Seven or eight chances. Oh, we got three. We only need one more Astrolabe. And the Cordial Vampire! Put a shirt on, you freak. <sighs> Come on. I'm not even rooting for the Ren and Six. I'm not even trying to be greedy. Just want another Astrolabe and another... Or in a Force of Negation. A Dead of Winter. Still do play this a lot. I mean, all you have to do is have a lot of snow lands via Shino Sand Sprinter. And that card makes sense. It's real good. For Commander, anyway. Come on. Force of Negation. Ooh, Regrowth. Ooh, the Sunbaked Canyon. It's a good one. Another in the land cycle. We'll take it. We got three of the Horizon lands at this point. Not bad at all. Satisfied elsewhere, just need that force of negation. Come on, guys, call it. Scream, scream in your house, scare your partner, scare them. Yell right now, force of negation. As loud as you can yell it. 
Ah, oh, wasn't loud enough. Ashley Kamans. Big nose goblin freak. Four packs left. You better be screaming super loud right now. Just chanting force of negation. Willing it into an existence. A fiery eyelet. Most people would just be ecstatic right now. You're like, whoa, I've got almost all of the whole land cycle. They're so good. But we know we've came here for one thing and one thing only. The force of negation. Three packs left. Scream louder. Oh, the auger. Another regrowth. Let's slow roll this. We're getting down there. It's a rare. Did Chris Seaman make it? Nope. He did the deep forest hermit. Ah, two packs. Man, stressful. We need our force of negation. Crypt rats, the tribe. Slow roll again. Okay. It's a rare... It's a creature, it's the fallen shinobi. Look at those horrifying eyes. It is a good card. That thing was actually a monster in some of the Modern Horizons drafts that I was doing on that moto. Last pack, last shot for a Force of Negation. Can we get it? Or a Mythic, I guess, Renin 6. Really though, like I said, we came here for the Force. All right, we're going to sit with three of three, three of four on the Astrolabs. Genius Infiltrator. Scuttling Sliver. What's behind him? It's a rare. Oh, I saw the blue. I got excited. Mirrodin Besieged. Wah, wah, no Force of Negation in this box. Well, it was still a pretty good box. We got all the good lands, so that helped. Until next time, this is Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your day.